Um, it's, it's the end of a, a few busy days for you and, and the youth department, but the e P stuff, how did it go? Uh, yeah, we're pleased. Um, did I say the end of probably about a year and a half, I would say, although it's not the end because we've got to keep going and you now we get ordered again in three years, so um, <clears throat> we've got to make sure things are in place all the time, but um, yeah, I'd say a year and a half, uh, a lot of work from a lot of people, um, directly and indirectly. Mm. Um, and then it probably wasn't till uh, I would say the summer when we got the official date of November mm -hmm. uh, 14th that we had something to really work to <clears throat> and then um, get everything in place and uh, gradually built up over the last uh, two or three, four weeks I would say. Um, and even right up to the last minute we were still trying to get stuff and yeah. you know we probably you can always improve and always get more and more stuff um, together, files, documents, you know, policies. Um, but uh, yeah, we got there in the end and I think uh, we came across pretty well to the auditors. Maybe for people watching it that don't quite understand what the EPPP audit is, what in summary is it? Um, it's the Premier League's idea that uh, it's a way of getting more more players through uh, the system, <clears throat> uh, more players through the academies and into Premier League size in England eventually. You know, that's yeah. obviously the, the top of the tree, but um, for us to get more through and through the other clubs, and they see it as a structured and organised way of doing it. Um, we, you, you, you're judged on 10 different um, items from uh, academy philosophy and vision and club philosophy and vision, um, playing style, uh, finance, coaching syllabus, mm -hmm. academy plan, um, education, welfare, uh, facilities, um, safeguarding, there's loads of things that, um, and, and player development and recruitment, sports science. So we, we were judged on all them. <clears throat> so you have to get paperwork together for yeah. all them and get people in place. And um, you know, if you say you do something, you've got to show that you do it. It's, if it's not down and, and written, then you haven't done it, so as far as they're concerned. So. Um, best practice sessions, you know, there's all sorts. We've got best practice sessions for all the ages now. Yeah. Syllabus for all the ages, which is far. Um, never been so, so organised in the department. I think I think it's good um, in a lot of ways because it will get every club organised and um, more than they have ever been. Um, so any new coach that comes in just hits the ground running straight in with it. Um, gets into the club way of things and the philosophy, the, how we like to play, and, you know, and. and from day one that they come in from, from the first day in pre-season say they were coming right through to the end of the season there's a plan of every training session that they do and the best practice for it so yeah. it was our <clears throat> you know, we had to get that across over the four days with them about what we do what we like to do um, how we do it um, and uh, I think I think we did it pretty well they, they you know they said to me at the end of it you know we were really impressed and we um, we've enjoyed our time here and, and in a funny sort of Statistic way that yeah. we, we enjoyed having here because it, it got us on our toes even more. Um, you know, put in and out with interviews all day long, different people, and uh, it was it's a like a bit of a relaxed, empty yeah. sort of place at the minute without all that um, hurrying around. So, but so no, I think we did I think we did well overall.